I'm Count Hobman. Here's a look at what we're following on this Friday. Desperate times call for desperate measures as Southern California faces its driest conditions in 1,200 years. For 6 million people across Los Angeles, San Bernardino, and Ventura counties, watering outdoor plants has now been limited to once a week. The goal is to cut water use back 35% as the state heads into its third straight year of drought. Water authorities say restrictions are necessary and there could be more. This is a crisis. This is unprecedented. We have never done anything like this before. Just last week, Governor Newsom warned the state could be forced to enact mandatory water restrictions if residents don't reduce usage on their own. Outdoor water use may be banned entirely if conditions don't improve by September. Officials continue to ask residents to do their part, and here are some ways to do so. Use recycled water for outside projects, take shorter showers, only run washing machines and dishwashers when they're completely full, and switch to drought-tolerant landscaping. Good morning, everyone, and we do have some cooler weather in the forecast here, at least in the short term as we head into the weekend. Our temperature is actually trending a little bit below average, and then looks like as we head into next week, we're going to start to warm up again. Could definitely see some triple digits here into next next week, but let's focus on today first. The temperature is actually a little bit cooler than they have been, but still pretty warm. We're still looking at some temperatures well into the 90s over in the desert. Comfortable 70s for the South Mountains and even lower 80s for Lake Isabella. That's not too bad for this time of year here in Baker. Field, we're a little bit nicer as well. We were into the mid 90s the last couple of days, only about 90 degrees this afternoon, so that's a step in the right direction. Do have more graduations here this evening. Temperatures actually getting pretty nice towards the end of those graduations as well, with those temperatures falling into the 80s. And again, we do have some of that cooler weather on the way. We'll talk about that later in the show. That full forecast is on our website, turn23.com. That'll do it for this update. Another one will be ready for you later today.